Welcome back. Problem 6-12. This problem is taken from chapter number 6 that is bending and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is a reinforced concrete pyre is used to support stringers for a bridge deck. Draw the shear and movement diagram for the pyre when it is subjected to stringer loads shown. Assume the column at A and B exert only vertical reaction on the pyre. So you can see uh, these are these are the pyres clears and this is this hole is deck clear and these are the strangers so these uh, strangers load the load applied on strangers are shown over here so you have to determine the shear and movement diagram for the pyre and this, this column exert a vertical reaction force on this pyre pyre clear so let's start with the solution so first step is that you can see that this column exert a vertical reaction force on the pyre, pyre, pyre. so this uh, reaction force is ra and similarly for this column this reaction force will be rb so first we will find this ra and rb by using equation of equilibrium and after finding this ra and rb we will be able to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all movements about point a is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive so about point a the first movement will be 60 into perpendicular distance is one meter and this is producing counterclockwise movement so it will be positive so i will write it first 60 multiply by one the second movement that is produced movement about this point a is 35 into perpendicular distance is 1 and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write minus 35 into 1 the third movement that is produced by this 35 kilo newton load and now perpendicular distance is 2.5 meter and this is also producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write minus 35 into 2.5 the fourth movement that is produced due to this 35 kilo newton load and now the distance is 4 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1 which is 4 meter and this is also clockwise so it will be negative so i will write minus 35 into 4 and the other movement that is produced due to this rb into perpendicular distance is now 3 plus 1 plus 1 which is 5 meter and this is producing counterclockwise so it will be positive so i will write plus rb into 5 and the last one which is this force 60 into perpendicular distance is now this which is 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 and 3 plus 3 is 6 meter and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write minus 60 into 6 is equal to 0 so again when you solve this so you will get rb and this rb will be equal to 112.5 kilo newton clear so we will find this ra by using equation of equilibrium that is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so minus 60 is downward so minus 60 plus ra which is upward minus this 35 35 35 so minus 35 minus 35 minus 35 i you can also write minus 3 into 35 plus rb which is 112.5 and minus 60 is equal to 0 so when you solve this you will get this ra will be also equal to 112.5 kilo newton now you have RA and RB so you can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for that I will take the vertical line from the end of the beam clear these are the vertical line first we will draw the shear force and I am going to take a horizontal line in order to show the length in X so this is your point A you can also draw line like this in order to project the length there roughly you can if you have a ruler you can just take a straight line and you can project these points and this is your rb clear 
so these are the length okay so here we will take the shear force which is in kilonewton and the length in meter okay so let one division is equal to 20 so 20 40 60 similarly downward is minus 20 minus 40 minus 60 you can take it as per your scale clear so first point at point this point you have minus 60 so your first point will be this one clear now moving from point a till this r a there is no other load so it will remain same so at till this point it will remain same horizontal clear now you can see here r a which is upward and r a is plus 112.5 so minus 60 plus 112.5 will bring it to 52.5 so here the shear force will change to 52.5 so let's say 52.5 is this point so this shear force will change to this this is 52.5 kilo newton now moving from point a till point this point there is no other force so it will remain same till this point clear now here you can see you have my minus 35 downward so 52.5 minus 35 will bring it to 20 uh, uh, 17.5 sorry it will be 17.5 clear so this shear force will change to 17 let 17 is this point so it will change to this 17.5 again moving from this point till there is no other shear force so this 17.5 will remain same till this point and again you can see you have minus 35 kilo newton downwards so 17.5 minus 35 will be equal to minus 17.5 so shear force will change to minus 17.5 so let 17.5 is this one so shear force will change to minus 17.5 okay moving from this to this there is no other force so it will remain same till this point so i will draw a horizontal line till this point and again you can see at this point you have minus 35 so minus 17.5 and minus 35 will bring it to minus 52.5 so your share 52.5 is somewhere here you can see so shear force will change to minus 52.5 and again you can see from this there is no other so it will remain same till this point and here you can see you have rb which is upward and rb is 112.5 so 112.5 minus 52.5 will bring it to 60 so shear force will here now change to 60 this point this is 60 and again it will be straight line and at the end you can see minus 60 downward which will bring it to zero so this is your shear force diagram i will write this is sfd which is shear force diagram now we'll move toward bending moment diagram so far again we have to draw horizontal line which shows the length in meter there and we have movement here which will the unit will be kilonewton into meter so area under the shear force diagram will give you the bending moment so first area is this one and this area you can see this width is width is one meter which is this one clear this is one meter and this height is 60 meter so 60 into minus 60 into 1 will be minus 60 so we'll plot minus 60 so for that i will take let each division is minus 20 minus 40 and this is minus 60 clear so first point is this one so i will project a line and exactly it will comes to this point this is minus 60 you can see the shear force is a horizontal line with a negative area so bending moment will be one degree higher it will be a straight line and slope will be decreasing so it will be like this so i will draw it first this will be your first 
now the second area is this area and this area you can see this width is 1 meter and height is you can see 52.5 clear so 52.5 into 1 is 52.5 and here minus 60 plus 52.5 will give you minus 7.5 so at this point we have minus 7.5 so let minus 7.5 is this point let's see minus 7.5 kilonewton into meter and again this area you can see this is a, a positive uh, area under the shear force diagram and this line is a straight uh, horizontal line so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing because this area is positive so i will join it by using a straight line clear and the third area is this area and this area is semi minus 17.5 into its width and its width is you can see this is 1.5 meter so minus 17.5 into 1.5 will be equal to 26.25 now minus 7.5 plus 26.25 will give you 18.75 so we will plot 18.75 this is 20 so 18.75 at this point will be this one this is 18.75 and this line is a horizontal line with a positive area so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing so i will join these two points like this okay the third area is this one which is negative area and this area is 17 point minus 17.5 into 1.5 and that is again equal to minus 26.25 so minus 26.25 plus 18.75 will be equal to minus 7.5 so at this point we will be having minus 7.5 so you can join them this is a straight line with slope is decreasing why because you can see this area is negative area and bending moment shear force is a horizontal line so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be decreasing the third area is this the another area is this one which is 52.5 and this length is one meter so minus 7.5 plus minus uh, minus 7.5 and minus 52.5 will bring it to 60 so at this point if i project this so minus 60 will be this point clear minus 60 and you can see that this area is negative area and this bending uh, shear force is a horizontal line so bending moment will be one degree line and the slope will be decreasing so we will join these two points there and the last area is this area which is 60 height is 60 this height is 60 and this length is 1 meter so 60 into 1 is 60 so minus 60 plus 60 will bring it to 0 at this point and since this area is positive and shear force is a horizontal line so bending moment will be 1 degree higher and slope will be increasing so I will join these two points and this will be your bending moment diagram for this pile and that was all about this problem 6-12 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching